Hello my lovely Cancer gang, welcome to your February reading. This is um, a reading for all the ones that has Cancer in their signs. Okay, so I have meditated on your cards to see what is in store for you for February. Um, I've done some daily guidance cards for you. I've done Moonology, um, the Romance Angels, Lenamund, um, your answers to questions at the end, which is from your angels. And also we've got the Love Oracle cards. And here is some cards that I've made myself that I've, um, I thought was a good idea to do within the reading. So it really helped towards things that you need to know uh, about your person and things that is in store for you. Okay, so I'm going to start off first then with your guidance cards, which are these ones. So let's see what we have for you first. So we have the Ask card. Life purpose, cleanse and detoxify, listen, what do you desire, release and surrender, and you have the joy card. So with the first card then, which is about the ask card, it says, Ask us to help you in this, in this situation. So whatever situation you're going through, to ask them for some help. And they will immediately go to work on your behalf. We are governed by many universal laws. And among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and your decisions. So we are patiently awaiting your request. So anything you need to ask, anything that is worrying you, ask your angels your guides your spirit guides um and you can do this through prayer you can do this um through some type of uh, meditation um whatever you want to do it with you can um and they're just waiting for you to um say what you need to say basically um regarding what you want to ask to the Lord, the angels, and your guides, and you will get your answer you that you will seek. Life purpose card then. So the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose, and then your purpose will serve you. So basically, whatever you um whatever you do in your life if it's helping people um or just in generally doing something that gives you great joy um whatever makes you happy then you will get something back that is going to make you even more joyful you know there is going to be some type of purpose that will come to you for doing a good purpose that you've been doing so there is that sense of um focus upon what you want to do okay with the cleanse and detoxify card then it says with great love and respect we ask you, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body at your request we will help you to develop life affirming ways to deal with your stress as well as ease any sorrows that is shared in your old ways. Give your cares, your worries and your concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. So what he wants you to do is to cleanse and detoxify your body, get rid of any negativity, um, anything that is not doing good for your health. It could be smoking, it could be drinking, um, it could be eating unhealthy foods. Anything like that, they want you to try and detoxify yourself. For some of you, I'm getting this image of um, going to like a river and going into cold waters that will help reset your body, your immune system. This can help to cleanse and detoxify your body also. Some of you may be going into that sense of um, healthy eating, doing a lot of exercising, 
um, whatever it is you should do it because it will help you in the long run you have the listen card so it says quiet your mind beloved one and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request for you to listen so you need to start listening to your intuition start listening to your body ask some questions through prayer meditation or just just ask yourself and you will start to have either start seeing signs start hearing voices um your own intuition telling you things they tell you you need to have that quiet alone time to meditate and your answers will come to you um and they'll tell you the um answers that you are needed to know and just for you to stop worrying and go from there you then have what do you desire cards so you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them they rush into your life as if by magic so what you feel that you want in life what you desire um what you need deep down you will have that you will manifest it if you stay positive if you start to um realize that you're ready um and that you know that you deserve to have what you want in life sometimes by doing things you earn in that trust you earn in that opportunity to get what you want in life and things will start coming into you you know coming to your life um like it says as if by magic so if you put positivity out into the world you will get these things quicker than you anticipated release and surrender so we show you with blessings of our radiant love so you need to open your arms and release any challenges any fears anything that no longer serves you anymore anything that is worrying you you need to let go of this you need to release it surrender to the divine and make sure that you open your hearts to the the love the assistance the communication from the angels guides as well and god if some of you do believe in god and that you have the religious uh, the religious um the religion that you are in then asking for this assistance to help to be released from all these burdens you will have your angels and guides by your side to help you to um embrace what you want to embrace the love that you need and to get rid of this burdens and anxieties and anything that is um keeping you uptight in this little cycle that no longer serves you with the joy card then so it is joy is the highest energy of all so there's going to be a lot of joy coming in and fulfillment um it is the magical sense that everything is possible joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at the highest possible levels so by enjoying things that you do by realizing everything in your life is um okay you need to appreciate things that you've got in your life you need to appreciate your family you need to appreciate all the good in your life and all the things that you want to attract will come to you and this can come to you within the matter of days months and it will come to you unexpectedly as well okay with the moonology deck then the first card we have for you is a win-win outcome is forecast with the full moon in libra you then have work through your fears with the new moon in scorpio new moon in virgo with a time to give rather than to take waxing crescent moon have faith in your dreams surrender to the divine with the full moon 
Full moon eclipse with conclusions are within reach. Full moon in Taurus, your dreams needs a practical plan. New moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. Fixed moon, hold your vision. And then you have full moon in Cancer, which is a personal issue, which is resolution. So for some of you, you may be going through some type of um, legal battles um, or going through a certain situation where you've been waiting for some type of success um, or waiting on for some results. Maybe you're in college and you're waiting on some type of results. Then there, there is something that is coming in for you that is going to be on your side. So karma is going to be on your side. It's going to be uh, a good balance that is coming in for you. We are going to look now into the book to go into more depth about this card. So you have an affirmation with this card that you can say, which is to let go of that which is falling away from you. So meaning to this card also is see the other person through the eyes of love and it will change your perspective. It is time for you to make a firm decision. Time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Look after yourself, but avoid, avoid vanity. And now is a great time for a makeover. Okay, the next one that we have is to work through your fears with the new moon in Scorpio. So whatever you have that is worrying you, concerning you, just do it little by little. And by doing that, you will work through your fears, you will overcome them, even if it's just doing tiny little steps to get over it. I'm going to look now to see what else it says in the book. So you've got an affirmation and what it's saying is to have some sexy time. So this is about a little um, rom-com type of situation that's gonna happen so if you feel like you wanna proceed in doing something but you're too scared or you're too scared to open up to someone they're just saying you need to work through these fears and just you're not gonna know about something until you proceed in doing something which is like working through the fears um it is time to let go of any grudge that you are um, holding on to anyone move on from jealousy stop being obsessive could it be you that you that is being a bit too paranoid and to make a investment next card with the new moon in virgo then is a time to give rather than to take so for some of you you may feel that it is time for you to start giving more love be more open, be more free, try and give a lot of attention to your loved ones um, rather than to take in that situation. Let's see what else it says in the book for this card. Here's New Moon in Virgo. Okay, recommit to healthy morning and evening routines. A gradual improvement is coming. Pay attention to detail if you want success without being pedantic. And be of service to others and love and money will follow. And the person that you are asking about or being asking about is reliable. They are, um, they are trustworthy in other words. Okay. Waxing crescent moon, have faith in your dreams. So whatever you want to um, inspire in a career, um, whatever you want, then they're saying to have faith. It, you know, it takes time for things to manifest. Every day counts. Just have that faith and positivity that you will get there. You will, you know, you will succeed. You will get where you need to be, um, but don't be too, um, how can I say, don't be too, uh, 
be disappointed if it's not um, as quick as you expected it to be. Okay, so I've got in the book now to see where else the book has to say about it. Okay, so I am focused on what I want. Just because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean that they're not manifesting. Don't look back, stay focused on moving forward. Be patient as events unfold and dig a little deeper to find more courage. Okay, you then have the full moon surrender to the divine. Let's have a look what they say. Okay, so I am getting the answers I need. So, whatever answers you've been. Um, looking for been waiting for they are going to be coming in they like they say you know you need to be a bit patient um and if you don't be patient then it's gonna you know be a longer wait but they are going to come in for you so don't go stressing and don't go worrying um for some of you there is a wish that is about to come true it is make or break time there could be a sense of madness in the air Breathe deep and stay calm. You may need to forgive someone to release any negativity. Um, and it is time to let go of the past and to move on. Next card then is the full moon in eclipse with conclusions are within reach. So it's not far along and whatever situations that you've been going through, um, it is going to be over and done with soon. Okay, so that which is meant for me will not pass me by. Those which slam shut now will not reopen. It is time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of any karma. Meditation, pranamya and yoga nidra are all recommended now. And set a control and let events unfold. Okay, we then have full moon in Torah, which is saying your dreams need a practical plan, so you need to start putting a plan of action in ready for your plans, for your dreams, for what you want. Um, so write down 10 things that you know that is wonderful about you. Laziness could explain your current situation that you're in. If so, change that and own it. Chasing money doesn't work, so you need to chase a dream. Jealousy or envy creates a negative energy and attract negativity. And more exercise is called for. Full moon in cancer then um a personal issue which is a resolution so whatever issues you've had is actually um coming to a resolution is coming to the fore now so it may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner meditate to soothe heightened emotions don't be clingy stop sulking and have you had enough family time lately so that is some in the book but whatever issues you have had going on um there's regarding yourself or regarding someone else worries concerns is going to come to some type of conclusion um and be dealt with you then have the fixed moon then which is to hold your vision So it says, yes, just say the word a lot and see how it feels. Staying in power, having faith or patience is going to be needed. Someone needs to back down, avoid any stagnation and a personal or professional relationship will be enduring. And then you have the new moon then in Taurus with prosperity lies ahead. So get or give a massage, having a healthy body and having a healthy mind. 
you will soon be able to afford the thing that you are dreaming of. Get clear on what you value most and it will help you find some peace. And take some time out to pamper yourself, look after yourself. And start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. Okay, next we're going to do is the Lenman cards. So we have first the Clover card and then we have the Bouquet card. So for some of you, there is an opportunity in a certain social circle or in a work um, or placement, wherever you work um, or you're around people, there is something that's going to be going on that is coming in for you that is an opportunity. Um, there is a lot of lightheartedness within a cer certain um, situation and luck is going to be changing for some of you also and this could be linked to a love opportunity or a love offer or a contract or a job. We then have the cards of the, the, the romance angels, I forgot what they called them. Um, so what we have, the card for you is the soulmate. So yes, this is a soulmate. So whoever you're thinking about, whoever um, you're talking to, they're saying this is your person. They have a lot of connection to you. They have that um, other piece of your heart, so to speak. Worth waiting for. So divine timing is at work in your love life. So someone is very much worth waiting for because they are your soulmate, they are your person. Um, no matter how long it takes, this person is worth waiting for. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have a lot of passion towards this person. You have a lot of feelings towards this person. The person that you um seek in definitely has a lot of passion. They have a lot of feelings an attraction to yourself also you deserve love so you are lovable you are great you do deserve love you do deserve to have a companion and to get married and to be happy so you need to accept that you deserve love you deserve to be with someone let your friends help you so ask for and accept support from others so you may have maybe close friends with your family or you have normal friends whoever you can confide in go to them talk to them and just be open and tell them about you know the people or this person that you have feelings for or you think about them try and get some more information about this person and they will help you and this will gain that certain um perspective about this person um and what they like and so on and so forth okay with the lovers oracle deck then we have the card of the chaser either you or this person that's coming in that or that you um connecting with or thinking about this is a person that has a lot of abandonment issues they have a lot of fears Either they got abandoned in their past relationship or abandoned when they were younger. So they's making them feel, um, they may be a type of person that feels like they constantly want to be around you or they have fears that something's not going to go the way they want. They have this sense of um, fear that they are scared to lose you. And this person is constantly want to be with you they want to be around you um or vice versa or this could be you regarding this person grim reaper so for some of you this could be to do with um, a relationship that you was involved in or you're in a relationship and things are not going as of planned for some of you there is no second chance with getting with this person and you want to grow and transform your life first um, and to move forward. Stabbed in the back then. So there's heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and a shocking attack. 
So maybe you or this person have found out something and it came to them as a very shock or come to you as a shock. Um, and it caused a lot of grief, anxiety, and thus fear of, um, you know, why is this happening to me? Um, why now? And that it just come to you as a feeling that being very deceptive and um, someone may have been a little bit sneaky it may not be a third party situation whatever it is it just feels like it just come out of the blue and it's just a lot of fears now for a new if it, you or this person was to go into a relationship then there's a lot of like baggage of abandonment issues involved okay I've got some cards of my own now that I have done um, for your reading. So I'm going to go through them. So the first lot is some things that you need to know um, that is coming in for you. So you have a surprising discovery of facts that were hidden from you that is bringing to some type of disillusions. The truth is to be exposed to the light. Progress in a direction that is not in your favour. There's a danger of losing or losing you or you losing this person. A failure or harm to your reputation. Um, compensate those who you have hurt along the way. Preserve your energies of enthusiasm in favour of opportunity in the future. Surround yourself with a bubble of protection. There are people around you who can harm you even though they pretend to be friendly. And you are protected. You are an empath and you need to learn to protect yourself from these negative um, energies and these negative people. You have the love card, so you need to love yourself. Love is the heart of a certain matter. Love is on the way. Love always rules. Love comes in all shapes and forms. And this is to do with also lovers. Okay. You have the card of the cat. So there is independence, curiosity, exploration and protection that is coming in. No facts. So someone have been either lying to you um, or there is lies, finding out about lies or no proof and someone making shit up. Just a warning. Force. So someone may have done um, in the past or they are going to be forcing you to do things, forcing you to say things or they're trying to force their way back into your life. There is a sense of force with a person um, to get what they want so just be careful the rising queen either you or the person is going to be in the spotlight going to be praised rising above people Power off. and there is a lot of triumph and success with the crystal pendulum of the night the answer is yes you are right and something is positive Eye of the night, choose your heart's true path and direction. Butterfly of the night, let things go. The past card, so there may be good, bad, ugly, suffering or happiness coming in. And these are the cards where your person wants to tell you. So they said, don't let me go. I love your smile. I love you. I see you in my future married and with our children. You are stronger than you think. I want to feel you close to me. I forgive you. I will fight for us. I love you unconditionally. And we are not over. There is unfinished business between us. Okay. I'm going to do um, some answers to some questions that you want to ask to do with what's in store for February. So I'll give you a couple of seconds now to think upon 
one question or a couple of questions um, that you need answers to about regarding what's going on in February. So I'll let that, um, I'll let you do that now while I put these away. Okay then, so let's have a look to see what answers that have come out for you regarding the, an the to the answers to the questions that you asked for February. So your first card is, it is up to you. Unlikely. No. Ask your angels. Compromise. A big happy change and also improving health. Okay then Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If so, please like, subscribe and share. I really, really do appreciate it. And until next time, I see you again soon. Bye.